I attended the Regina High School located in Hyattsville, Maryland. I graduated in 1976. And the reason I, I love going to Regina is that I grew up one block from the borderline of DC, Washington, DC, and Maryland. And so I always felt a connection to the state. And after attending high school, I went away to undergraduate school, University of Tennessee in Knoxville, and then came back to attend the University of Maryland Dental School. In 2007, I had the opportunity to apply for a position to take a team of young professionals to South Africa and Swaziland. And I did that just purely for the adventure and what the opportunity might unfold, not really knowing much at all about either country. We knew from the history what was going on with apartheid. And I, actually, when I was in undergraduate school at the University of Tennessee, we would actually protest and there were demonstrations and that was going on while I was in college. So uh, when the opportunity came available, I jumped at the chance to take it. And while there, I got to live uh, day to day among uh, South Africans in their homes. And then on one beautiful Mother's Day weekend, we, we went over to Swaziland. And that's where my heart fell in love with the country. It's a beautiful country with rolling hills. They call it the Switzerland of Africa. The country is very small. It's only about the size of Connecticut. There are about a million people. And amongst all of this beauty, there was sadness because Swaziland has the highest HIV and AIDS rate in the world. And for a small country, the impact was tremendous. The biggest concern that, that we saw there were the large numbers of orphans. There was literally a generation of people that had been wiped out. So you had children heading households. So while there, we had the opportunity to visit an orphanage and also a school, a school for children with disabilities. We had the opportunity out of a request that the priest made that could we come back and could we help his teachers. Was well, just so happened I had a teacher on that trip that was a special education teacher. And we both had our hearts melt on that trip at that weekend. I took the request and I said, well, there's got to be something that I could do. And that was in 2007. So we came home, thought about it. And we were able to, by 2009, to go back and have an exploratory mission to go visit schools. We visited that school and we also visited another school, the Njabawaini School, and that was for street children. These were children that were just living on the street with no parents. And, uh, the members would come around and actually locate and identify some of those children and bring them in and actually start them on a path to an education. So we, uh, in 2010, developed a team of teachers, of special education teachers, to go to those schools and deliver education and deliver teaching to the teachers. So it was a teach the teacher type of trip. And from 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, and now getting ready for 2014. We've been going back every year. In 2011, we were able to incorporate a dental mission for the first time where the children with d disabilities hadn't been treated by the dentist before. And the dentist in the country hadn't worked on children with disabilities. So we were able to, at that time, bring together the dentists in the community to come to the school where they could then see that these were kids were just uh, perfectly fine. They were uh, easy to work with and uh, they provided care along with myself. And in 2013, we returned for a second visit to do the dental mission. And so our goal is to go back this year and actually complete the work that we started.